Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be exploring RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation Systems, and most importantly, why they're actually useful, how to install them with open source software, and also how to get started with them conceptually. So let's tackle that first question. What are RAG systems and why are they useful? Let's imagine a question. Imagine I wanted to pose a question. How tall is Wookie? This is Wookie. Probably not what you were expecting. It's a long-haired corgi, a species I think I made up just for this video. But we want to know how tall Wookie is. And our documents that are indexed in some kind of document index or database all contain different documents from a particular family. Now this family has a lot of different pets, and they are a huge fan of Star Wars. This means all the documents have a lot of overlapping terms that deal with unique pet names and also Star Wars names and things like diaries and different family documents. So how do we find this answer to our question, how tall is Wookie? This is where RAG come in, comes in, and it combines two different systems. The first is semantic search, a very common NLP technique. Now this is available today with open source software like Weaviate, which is a vector database, or TextAI, which is a semantic search engine that you can install using Python. It also combines another technology, and this is large language models or text generation with them. And that's going to be where things like GPT come into play from OpenAI. RAG systems combine both of these technologies so that you can pose natural questions and retrieve natural language results that give you the answer to that question. So how do we combine RAG systems? How do they actually work behind the scenes? Well, RAG systems will take in an entire index of documents, and just like semantic search, it will vectorize all those documents, which means the word embeddings or the document embeddings are all stored in that database. And again, when a user poses a query, like a question, instead of doing a traditional semantic search where we try to find documents that are match up with keywords or at least the semantic meaning of that query to then retrieve them for the user, the semantic search engine for a RAG system will take all those documents and the most similar ones, the things that are most indicative of that question, will be combined together. The next step of a RAG system is to then take all those documents and the user's question and then give them to a generative model like GPT. And leveraging things like GPT 3.5 Turbo, it will take in all these documents and produce some kind of natural result. Now the reason why this is useful is because it removes two problems that exist with each of these systems independently. With semantic search, you're not guaranteed that your question is going to ret return actual answers to that query, or if it does, it's going to be buried amidst a lot of different documents. On the generative text side, you have a lot of different issues with generative models, mainly hallucinations, where they give you seemingly correct information, but factually wrong information. The way in which RAG system solves both of these problems is they return the natural, most likely candidates that actually have the information necessary to answer the user's query, but they give that to the text generation model so that the result is something that is not factually incorrect or has a very low likelihood of being incorrect because it's given the unnecessary knowledge and context to correctly answer that question. Now, once again, let's consider how this might work if we were using just an off-the-shelf language model or if we were using something like OpenAI's GPT. If we were to pose the question, how tall is Wookie, we might get answers that seem like they're really good, but they're going to probably give you answers with the average height of a Wookie in general from Star Wars, not a very specific Wookie that we have in mind, our long-haired Corgi. So RAG systems allow for a user to get a very specific answer to a very specific domain bit of knowledge by combining these two different technologies. So what open source RAG systems are available to you? There's a lot, but one I've become really fond of over the past few months is Verba, which comes from the team at Weaviate. Verba is open source, easy to install. If you have Python, you have to install that as well. And it's easy to get up and running. All you really need to have is an OpenAI API key or any other way of accessing models on places like Hugging Face. And you have to have the documents that you want to use. It handles all of these steps for you automatically. It will chunkify your documents, which means it'll take a long document and separate it into individual chunks. It will index those chunks. It will vectorize those chunks. And most importantly, it provides the UI for retrieving the data based on a user's query, and also implementing the response from the OpenAI API key. If you want to learn more about Verba and how it works, then stick around for the next video on this channel when I walk you through all the steps for installing Verba and getting it up and running and exploring a real-world use case with real data from the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in DC.